range, that's something that we need, otherwise there's going to be no uh, breakthrough. That's why we got the nice wheelbase. Now, the biggest battery will fit in there. That's how we developed the platform. It's fit for the future, no, no matter what happens with cell technology. It's all in there. Now, great range is not the best price per kilometer. So in the past four years at Volkswagen, that's what you looked at. This is the first result. But of course, you also looked at all kinds of other things. Charging as well. What about charging then? Well, first of all, we've got bigger ranges. So there is less of a problem with charging the batteries. So customers can actually have pure Pro and Pro S ranges. Pro S, 550 kilometers range for long distance drivers. And the others, 430 and 330. That's what people can pick from. And when you have a Pro, for example, or a Pro S, well, you just charge it once every one or two weeks, because usually you drive something like 50 kilometers a day. And they can also do quick charging. Ionity, 100 kilowatts, and it just takes half an hour for 300 extra kilometers. That's it. Because now I just go to the petrol station. So where will you charge in future? How is it going to work? You try it. It just happens on the side. Perfect for you. You've got your own home. So when you sleep, it does charge. Or when you go shopping, whatever you do, you just use any socket for charging it. And that's why everybody's going to use it. It can be charged anywhere. And we developed an ID charger, which is the Volkswagen Warbox, which is a bit faster. Half price uh, of what you get from others. And when you live in a city, you've got quick charging and with the big ranges. Once or every two weeks or every week. Okay. Suitability for everyday use. That's important. Okay. We talked about it. But what about pleasure of driving? Because I love cars. Yeah, you're the same. Volkswagen, you were also responsible for the GTI there. Okay, fun and pleasure of driving. Okay, don't you worry, you know about technology? Okay, I'll tell you. With the electro car, electric cars like this, they've got a great torque right from the very beginning, good punch, but this also is rear axle or rear wheel drive. 310 Newton meters on the road right away, one step here. So you've got a GTI, when you're at the traffic light, it's really fun. You've got the low center of gravity because of the battery. Great distribution, optimum distribution of weight. And our chassis engineers enjoy that in the test uh, track. Sound, new. Yes, new and different. And of course, an electric car needs to be quiet. So when you're in a street coffee shop and a car, an ID passes you, you think, oh, was that a car? And when you press the play pedal, that's how we call it, and things start to happen. Star Wars and Millennium Falcon, we mix that in. Okay, let's take a look inside. Why not? And when looking inside, South Bischoff showed us the first pictures already. It's like my smartphone, a bit. Yeah, not so many keys or push buttons, you don't need it. So quite a few things have been abolished. We just focused on what you really need. Operating it is completely different. ID, intuitive device. There are lots of other uh, meanings as well, but that's one. So I can put my purse into the center console because we clean it up. And you start the car differently. It's different from a normal car, conventional one. Yeah, you get in. You take the lever right next to the steering wheel, uh, push it forward, press play, and off you go. High tech? It sounds simple and high tech. Right, but there's something else just for you. Listen. The head up. Uh, display. So it's like, uh, it's augmented reality, you can say. You actually look at the road ahead of you and you see all the important uh, information right where it's necessary. We think that this is going to be the future, and we anticipate that, as Volkswagen always do. Okay, voice control, that's something of voice activation is important. ID3 there as well. Yeah, it doesn't just look at you, you can also talk to it. It's cool and interesting for your kids as well, and for those who remember being a kid, that's something else. Because right in the front of the cockpit, we've got an ID light here, and you actually say, hello, ID. And then you see it does listen to me and it knows who's talking, front passenger or driver. And then it answers and you get the green light here, like Night Rider before. I remember that. 
It's like a tablet on wheels, is that it? Yeah, at least it's a big step in this direction. It's continuously online, which is important and very convenient, because you always want the latest map information in your uh, navigation. And new charging stations are added also. You need the updates. So. Forget about the faulty ones, and you are told where the new ones are. And updates will also come. Yes, definitely. Yeah. You join your car, and it knows a new trick, like uh, rolls its eyes or winks at you. Okay, the smartphone is always connected to the ID3, definitely, whenever you want. It's really very convenient, comfortable. It's one app that we're going to have to check and control the car, and the ecosystem will also be operated this way. So you take a look at the car. How does it feel? Is it nicely free, warm, defrosted, while your neighbor is still scratching eyes from the window shields? Okay, e-mobility, and what's so great about it, we all agree, it's emission-free. But you want to go further, Volkswagen. It's not just that uh, the driving is emission-free. Exactly. We want to do this extra mile, this extra point. From the point of the customers, it's very nice as well. We've got a world premiere of the, of the second kind. It's the first car which is really carbon neutral when it's delivered to the customer. It's like a baby that's still innocent. And then we tell customers it's really important, to, uh, easy to, to keep it clean, use eco or green electricity. Then there is no extra CO2. You're actually carbon neutral.